Hi, uh, my name is JJ Coy. Uh, I've been homeless for about five years now. Um, I've been on my own since I was 12 years old. I think that uh, we need, I think that we need to uh, recognize and realize that what these things and these institutions are placed there for is for our own benefits and that when we work with them we'll get the goal, the, the, the result that we want out of them. But if you go into the, with the mindset that I'm staying at this shelter, I'm just using it as, as a place for me to stay while I get high and look for the next thing that's on to me not is I'm going to use this as my haven in order to provide shelter and sanctity for me in order to make the strides that I need in order to have a healthy lifestyle. It's impossible. I do not think that you'll ever drive out homelessness. I don't think you'll ever drive out the street lifestyle, the street mentality, the way that it is. There's a lot of people that are down here simply because this is what they know. This is this is what they choose. They they like it down here. They don't want to leave. They they have chosen this lifestyle over any other lifestyle, and they don't they don't want it to change. And you'll run into those people, and it'll be continuous. And you get that anywhere you go. There's no there's no country and no city and no world and no universe, no dimension where there isn't going to be some kind of poverty or homeless where someone is less than somebody else's because everybody has their own struggles, their own issues, their own fucking, their own shit from the, from the bottom to the top. So there's always going to be a bottom and there's always going to be a top. And uh, just defining how we, uh, how, we, how we manage that and how we uh, cope with that, that's, that's where the real difference is. When the floods happened and everyone got together and started fixing things, you know what I mean? When, when we do things like that, instead of going out and hurting our brothers and sisters and you know destroying each each other as a community and just beating up on each other, violence on violence and you know disrespect to disrespect, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, it's it just it's a never-ending cycle.